Oh. Oh, come there on, Discord. Go. Video games, 2017. Cool. What the heck? Making sure I got that right. Hello? Uh, why can I not hear anything? <laughs> How about now? Hi. <laughs> that should be it. But I think you might have converted after this conference. <clears throat> I ate a switch. My stomach hurts. <laughs> Shouldn't have made that bet. Never no. bet against Metroid. I mean, I no, 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 no. Metroid was o for nothing, o for Ooh. o for seven. For the past seven years, nothing. And yeah, nobody expected. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna I stop expected. Right. There had been rumblings. You have to yeah, listen to the rumblings. There's rumblings every. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. There was also rumblings saying that this, like, this was just gonna be for stuff for this year and not next year's. Well, they literally said that in the conference. Yeah. <laughs> it's like we're mostly focusing <clears> on stuff <throat> this year, and there's like two things that are coming out this year. Yeah, and then the rest of it was 2018, which is crazy. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's go. Oh, you're okay over there? Started. Guess not. Okay. Mic check with low. Close this door. <laughs> low check with Mike. Never check on Mike. <laughs> I'm sorry. While we're waiting, I'm watching the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 demonstration. I really wish I had the day off. Are you, and a, I just, are you a Xenoblades fan? I've, I'm not. I'm, I've, oh, I've played the first one, and I loved it. It's, it's one of my favorite RPGs. Like, real talk. Like, it's all, one of the few modern RPGs that I can say, yes, you are great. Because mm-hmm. of how it's, it's, it's story, it's gameplay, it's world. Like, a lot of modern RPGs feel too clunky to me. Right. Um, and I played Xenoblade Chronicles X. Haven't beaten it. Doubt I will, considering how um, how big it is. But And the fact that Chronicles 2 is going to be on the Switch, so I can take it on the go. Because the only reason I beat Xenoblade Chronicles 1 was because I played on the new 3DS. I didn't play it on the Wii. And it worked perfectly because I could take it anywhere. All right, we'll talk more about that uh, later. Lo, are you uh, there? I wonder if he can hear us. Somebody. Uh, we can hear him. I think he's. Okay, he's having issues. Let's continue. Okay. <laughs> so let's uh, let's, start, let's start off the show then. Uh, I'm gonna load up. Are you gonna uh, have the feed playing, or is it just yep. this beautiful thumbnail that someone made for us? I got the feed. <laughs> okay. Wait, you got it going now? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so what are we starting with? I'm, I'm going to let you run this one, uh, Mr. Defender. Okay. I mean, I'm going to have a delay, but okay. I'm just, I'm just showing the show right now, so like, it's in that order. I haven't watched it once. <laughs> um, I will say to start off that, like, their brand marketing is like I hate to say this, but on point lately. Like this the all the trailers it's they've had the so mark. far, like No. Um, all the trailers <laughs> and commercials and stuff they've put out have been really nice and just like well shot. Like you can tell that they're kind of like finding their edge, you know, like act, using actual actors and like real world situations and this whole like like console gaming on the go has really helped with just kind of finding their marketing. Because they can do things like just a bunch of people hanging out in the car garage, playing as like a you know racing sports whatever game. Like I like how most of them then, are using the neon Joy Cons too. Yeah, they, I think it's because they stand out more probably on on screen. Yeah. Um, and then like they're just in a you know a they ice have cream new ones shop. Coming, like, yeah. Okay. Like this guy just like actually takes a soccer ball out and plays FIFA. Like it's beautiful imagery, and it really sells the system. Uh, like no matter where you go, your games go with you type thing, and they're just they're nailing that like commercial after commercial, and so it's a really strong way to start a conference. Yeah, they had a surprise of uh, Rocket League coming to uh, Switch, which I, I'm I'm probably not gonna get if I get a Switch, but 
it's cool that they're gonna have like custom Nintendo stuff, like hats. And, and I can, well, not only imagine that, imagine the amiibo, but... like ami- if they do amiibo support, I think that would work pretty well too. Hello, mm, maybe. Hello. The game. Okay, I wasn't Hi. sure. If, I I was dropping a couple days ago. Um. Well, not only that, but the fact that like it's cross platform with other platforms too. So like, mm. you own the Switch version. I own like I don't own Rocket League, but I'm pro- I might buy Rocket League for the Switch. I could do. I could play low. Low. Do you have it for the PC? I do have it for PC. Yeah, I could. I could play. I could play low for the PC. I could play all y'all. I don't have to buy it for the PC now. So like, <laughs> that that's. That that is that is the that is that is the gateway to heaven right there. Is the I love that. I love cross platform anything. Really. I love the idea of like like playing on the PC but seeing someone with like a Mario hat on their car. That's so cool to me. Yeah, I like that this year. There's been a few announcements for multi uh, platform crossplay. Yeah, I mean Minecraft and this now are like both like you know Nintendo exclusive features like Mario content basically. <laughs> But you can see that stuff when you're playing somewhere else. You can't use it, obviously, but you can still see it. Yeah, that's and that's right. crazy to think about. So let's go. And then Ubisoft making a Mario game. Like, there's so much cross promotion here. It's great. Well, you're super echoey, by the way. Who me? Yeah. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's what happens. The acoustics must be terrible. Place. <laughs> yeah, it's unfortunate, but we can we can manage. I just wanted to let you know. In what if I lean know. in real close like this? Is that oh. better? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Ooh, E <laughs> three. You know what? You know what your voice sounds like right now, Lo? Is uh, do you ever seen the movie The Warriors? I was just gonna. Th- I was just gonna say that. The DJ no, who's I... like narrating the movie. I actually <laughs> haven't seen that. Actually, oh what? man, The Warriors is a great movie. You there's, check that out. there's so many movies I haven't. You seen. You haven't seen Cyrus go? Can you dig it? And that's, that's how I feel I've like seen. That. I've seen that part. Okay. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Like I feel that's that that was me at when I got off the bus after watching the uh, Nintendo press conference. Can you dig it? Can y'all dig it, baby? Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I put on Twitter uh, that like Nintendo packed more just like news and announcements and like you know really good trailers into 25 minutes than any mm-hmm. of the other conferences put into an hour. Oh yeah, yeah. And I think that goes to show like how strong their showing is. Like by doing this kind of pre-made conference. It's like everything is tight. It's exactly how they want it to be before they yeah. show it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and it absolutely. works so much better than like the dead air or like technical issues of a live show. Because and... <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. apparently, like, fun fact, we hated Sony because like the Twitch feed and everything, and it just wasn't great. But apparently <laughs> on YouTube, it was fine. Uh, that's not so true. So maybe people they, that watched on YouTube had a better experience. There was a bunch so. of issues like all over the place. Like even people who were watching the YouTube mm-hmm. feed were having okay. issues. Yeah. Right. The I mean, show it is, Nintendo doesn't have those issues. Yeah, yeah. and well, That's they're just... showing the Xenoblade Chronicles feed right now. If you're watching live with us right now, which That's the is arguably of having um, a predetermined video, though, is that you can just press play and let it go. Right. Sorry, continue. Oh no, and how like this is eager, is like this is uh, with Mario Odyssey. This is like tied with that for my most anticipated game for Nintendo this year. Um, is, that coming, um, is this coming out this year? It's uh, it says a vague holiday 2017. I'm not confident oh, about man. that. If it gets delayed, I'm getting delayed. I'm not gonna be upset about it. But if it does, oh my god, I'm gonna have a Mario game. I'm gonna have a Sonic game. I'm gonna have a <laughs> Xenoblade Chronicles game. I'm gonna have Marvel. I know mean, it's not Nintendo, but Marvel vs. Capcom. I'm Dragon gonna have Ball indie Fighter games. Z. Well, no, that's, that's Metroid, out. Metroid on Metroid. 3DS. Metroid in three yep. months. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, that game okay. comes out three days after my brother's birthday. Um, nice. He had actually texted me at work, because I was avoiding all news today. Mm-hmm. And so like, he texted me at work, and I saw the preview on my watch. It said something like, uh, "Like I'm glad they they uh, scheduled a release for a... And then it cut off. Mm. I was like, swipe that away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't that right now. But, but I'm curious. I got home and saw that that you know release of a 2D Metroid game uh, yeah. for my birthday, and I was like, "Yeah, I figured that was going to be your birthday present, <laughs> so I'll be buying two copies of that." I'm nice. curious as the not as I think all y'all are not Xenoblade fans like I am. What did y'all think of that 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 trailer that they showed? It looks like a nope, cool game good. that I'll probably never play. Same. <laughs> that honesty, though. It looks like more of a traditional RPG, though. Like, it was, it's like, not. Really, like, weird rhythm-based it's, combat. It's just, I've heard these games take forever to finish, and I'm already on a game that's like that, like Persona. Mm-hmm. So, like, that's my JRPG. Thomas, let me tell you this. <laughs> the first Xenoblade Chronicles that came out for the Wii, uh, just story, took me 100 hours. 
Yeah. Oh. See, like, but oh, it was snap. it was an amazing 100 hours. Like I can only oh, have no. this Kirby oh, trailer games every real quick. now and then. You know, like I can't I can't play a lot of those. This Kirby trailer was a really nice surprise because like it started mm-hmm. out I'm like, yeah. what is this game? Like just kind of the text <laughs> and everything, and then it said with some station lap today. It was like, oh. And then it started yeah. some gameplay, and like it shows some things where the powers are mixed. Like, yeah, I don't I know think... if it's like you're mm-hmm. sucking in your friend, and like you combine e- like, oh, yeah. you know, each other, or yeah, I know you suck off your friend and get his power. Yeah, oh, um, what? <laughs> or if it's like a like a Kirby sixty four <laughs> thing where you're actually like you know you combine one power with another power and then suck up. I think it's that. Anyway. I think I think in multi- I loved that mechanic. Yeah. That's what I thought of too. When, like, I think I think in single player you're combining powers, in multiplayer you're sucking your friends off. Yeah, mm-hmm. which is fine. You know, sometimes you have to suck your friends off for power. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> but like, it looks really good. Like, it's got all the you know the wider variety of abilities. Do you think it's going to be called Kirby? Since... No, that's probably. I doubt it. No. It's yeah, just there's like a couple a of these games here that problems. just have the single name. I think those are just working names. Totally. Kirby mm-hmm. games are always developed like powers and mechanics first, mm-hmm. and then they actually like attach random story to it so yeah. it probably has something to do with whatever the story is but they just haven't come up with it yet yeah i just hope it's as good as Cur- kirby planet robo robot from last year um was it last year yeah last year um yeah uh if it's good if it's better than that that's all i can ask for um I, i'm a huge also i'm also a huge fan of kirby i don't think i've actually expressed that a lot here but like kirby is up there with me in terms of mario and zelda in fact i would think i'm a bigger kirby fan than i am of mario like i get more excited for Kirby oh. games than I do Mario games, oh. uh, unless you look at Mario Odyssey trailer, which we'll talk mm-hmm. about later. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. It was it was it was Kirby, but I'm excited that they confirmed a game for the Switch. I want more Kirby, and it's that four player multiplayer that they had in Return to Dreamland, which I really enjoyed. Mm-hmm. But with like more kind of combat and power depth, because I don't know, Return to Dreamland was a little bland as far as like the actual gameplay mechanics of it. Um, it was kind of just like a screw with your friends game. So it lost a lot of its appeal within the first few levels. I'm hoping this is one more. Like, like I, I Brooke was watching the conference with me, and I was like, "Would you play that with me?" She's like, "Yeah, that sounds fun." It's like, I, if, you know, if I had a dedicated co-op partner, like I, I think that'd be a really fun game to play through. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. But I just I couldn't really get into the Kirby's on 3DS because they felt so like samey. Mm-hmm. You should try Planet Robo. I, I will give you triple deluxes like that, but Robo Robot is definitely like that. That one mechanic of adding the robot to it gives so much life to That's that fair. game. Because triple deluxe is what bored me. Yeah, and I can see why. Um, but but Robo Robot is is definitely it's it's just adding that mech, and it's all it was, and it was so much fun. Mm-hmm. That's fair. Also, the little subtle drop of oh, by the way, we also have a mainline Pokemon game coming to the Switch, and it just cuts away. <laughs> yeah. Like you tease. tease. I'm not much of a, a Kirby fan or Pokemon fan, so these announcements didn't really do much for me. But but it is a big deal that yeah, it is. Yeah, that, 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 that it, it's going to be on like it's going to be on a handheld, but it's going to be on a home console. This is going to be the first right. core Pokemon game. On a home console, that's a huge yeah. deal. Well, that you. is a that's a, key, yeah, that's a big something deal. Something totally new. No, it's gonna be like the same a, game. You know, like a game it's not gonna be thing. anything new. It's gonna be the same thing. <laughs> it's gonna be a remake of Gen Four. That's what it's gonna be. Generation Four, uh, it's Diamond and Pearl. That's what's gonna be. I don't see them putting a remake on the Switch. I see it being like either just an original you don't see them like putting side remakes story on Switches? or the next gen. Like how many Which remakes even... have we had so far? We're uh, getting one in three months. months. <laughs> he's right. Yeah, he's right. <laughs> They're both right. And They're there's both right. the team that's like Prime 4. <laughs> that's all you guys just a screen. Hey, so, the logo. Like, but it's so nice. Like the way the stars <laughs> kind of come together and create the the screw attack. Um, it's so um, subtle. I'm um, Justin, and I'm sorry. A... I'm sorry. That that was a nebula. I'm sorry. It's not <laughs> <laughs> You should be sorry. Um, oh jeez. Yeah, like it, it shows nothing. But I should go back a, and finish off the Metroid Prime development. trilogy. I never finished the second or third one. Don't. Well, I mean, don't finish two. Two's bad. Two's legitimately bad. You um, have to kind of play two to know the the uh, dark. Read a, wiki. Read, so a wiki. Read, read a wiki. read a wiki. Read a wiki. Like, watch an L. Watch an LP. Watch yeah, because I played through all of from you. 
How about that? Yeah, yeah, I've played through all of two, and it starts out fine, but the second you have to switch between the dark world and the light world, it becomes monotonous. Yeah, like it became a pain in the ass. That's why I stopped. Yeah, I don't so mind like, that at, at first because it kind of mixes up the uh, the backtracking because it's like you're backtracking through a different world, so it doesn't mm-hmm. feel like you're just going through just to go through it. But after a while, it's kind of like okay, I have to figure out how to get back to the dark world so I can go get this. And yeah, it back gets to where annoying. I came from in the light world, and it just makes more backtracking at the end. Yeah, that's why I, I think I'm gonna. I'm, I'm, I, I haven't started three. I might just pick up three because I think that's a lot more action packed. But either way, Metroid Prime Four coming. Who knows when? But three's really good. good. Yeah, you can get mm-hmm. over the motion controls, but three's really good. Yeah. yeah well, well, I mean, I played a... the. Oh, sorry. I was just gonna move on. Uh... Oh, go ahead. <laughs> Yoshi. Yeah, there's a yes. new Yoshi so game cute. coming. Unreal uh, Engine Yoshi. That one looks yes, pretty it's... interesting because of the way you can interact with the environments. So, like, mm-hmm. you can tell. The, the, ter- the Triceratops head, and you can like, crash through mm-hmm. stuff. Oh, it looks pretty cute. And it's like, right. it's the same movie world, but it's more like a Paper Mario combination. It's kind yeah. of interesting. Yeah, and like Lo mentioned, this is running off the Unreal Engine. Yes. How can you tell, though? They, it's, oh, it, they reported it. They they did a run. Oh, okay. Gotcha. They said in the, in, in, the, in the gameplay demo of it. Oh, not the gameplay demo. That's nice. Nintendo's so, yeah. not using a proprietary engine. You gotta love yeah. it. Yeah. And, and Yoshi games are... The, oh, go ahead. I think this is the... Well, this is the first I've heard of an Unreal Engine-based game on the Switch, right? No. Um, There's another ones. Yeah. Technically, I Am Setsuna's on Unreal Engine. It's not oh. pushing it, but yeah. like it's it's Unreal Engine. Um, huh. I think it is. It's one. It's one it of the events. Okay, um, but yeah. Either way, Yoshi games are always usually fun, and Wooly World was the best. Was the game of the always, year. Always usually. Um, well, <laughs> like there's like one or two bad Yoshi games, but when Yoshi's Wooly World came out in 2015, it was game of the year for me. Yeah. So like, if this that can meet that, game. Game. yeah, yeah. Wooly World was so good, um, and uh, I look forward to Yoshi 2018, whatever it's called. Yeah, I honestly, I only stopped playing Wooly World because for one, I was only playing with Brooke wanted to play, and that wasn't very often. And two, I don't want to boot up my Wii U anymore. So and like, it's hard to go back to it. But if they put one out on the Switch, I will totally buy that and play through it. Yeah. So now Hy- Hyrule Warriors. Not not Hyrule Warriors. Fire Emblem Wars, or as I like to call it, <laughs> Waifu Warriors. <laughs> or Dynasty Fire Warriors. Well, yeah, that's, it's a Dynasty Warriors game with Fire Emblem characters. That's exactly what it is. It's kind of hard to get excited about that. You know what I used to say? Oh, that, is this like that Game of Thrones. Nothing wrong with the Dynasty Warriors type. Yeah, exactly. High Rule Warriors is so much fun. Was it? Yeah, uh, most surprisingly. Next up. Yeah, and and the fact that they gave you so much content. Granted, it was season pass stuff, but they kept mm-hmm. getting stuff for it. And like, like there's there was something cathartic about coming home, popping in High Rule Warriors, and just whooping the crap out of hundreds of dudes. <laughs> yeah. Link. Like, little hack and slash action. Like, like I, I understand if you pl- like, I don't play a lot of high like uh, warrior games. So when I do play, when the fact that I'm playing two and it's been a couple years since I played Hyrule Warriors, I'm ready for this one. Even though I don't really know, those games a lot are kind of like sports games now. Like they're kind of do their thing, like and they do it well. But mm-hmm. not everyone plays those every year, and when you do, okay, it's right, right, kind of fun. You guys can go back to your chat. But do you think this Skyrim that they were showing is like actually the remastered edition? Because it looks uh, better than regular Skyrim does. But they're just calling it I, Skyrim. I, I, for I don't know. It looks what like Skyrim. it might be based off of the remaster. Because I mean, because right. basically the remaster, well, to me, I don't know if it's, this is true or not. But the remaster to me just kind of seems like it's Skyrim that is like kind of pre-modded. So it yeah. could just be Skyrim with mods. So, which is it, fine. it's just weird they're not calling it Skyrim remastered. Like they made a specific yeah. point about that. And so yeah, obviously there's something different about it. So I feel like it was custom remastered for the Switch instead of just using the same one they put on the others. Yeah, like I don't Switch care. optimized it'll, or something like that. Skyrim, it'll just be just cares. as boring as the original Skyrim. Right, like I'm, I'm so. not going to get it. I just didn't know what you thought because you guys have probably played more Skyrim than I have. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It, yeah. But also this, this first DLC same, pack yeah. for Zelda looks pretty legit. Uh, like that, that, that did look pretty cool. The trial mode, like I assumed it was just going to be like the others where you're just going through like you know, kind of a like a battle royale type thing. You go through each floor, you fight all the enemies, you go to the next floor. But there were like puzzle rooms and stuff in there. Like that's mm-hmm. an actual like area to go through. And I thought that was surprising. Very um, interesting. And I mean, the rest of it just kind of looks fine. Like it's whatever. Um, I like. I, I knew what it all was already. Yeah, I like mm-hmm. the hero mode specifically. How you found 
they showed off that those moblins or whatever flying on a platform being held up yeah. by Octoroks. That was really cool. Like if <laughs> if hard mode gives me st- like unique stuff that wasn't in the base game, I'll mm. pay twenty bucks for the expansion pass because it's I mean, twenty dollars. Twenty bucks for it anyway. It's all of it. You can't buy the things individually. <laughs> right, right. What I'm what I'm saying is I don't necessarily mind it. I know there's like a controversy about locking it behind a paywall. But like um, I, I'll, yeah. I will do a new playthrough. I'll, I'll create a new because you can't start a new file on it without erasing your previous progress. I will mm. start a new playthrough of Breath of the Wild in hard mode just to go through it. It should be fun. Yeah. So this I want to do DLC, the DLC first. The, the second DLC here that they're showing, um, the expansion pass, Champions Ballad. It kind of looks like a prequel where. Yeah, I have a like theory. The it's a playable feature. flashback. Hmm. Like Zelda hmm. looks like a play. main character in the flashback sequences. Yeah, I get to play as my waifu Mifa. <laughs> no, I would assume you're not playing as the four. I imagine you're playing alongside them, like going on a quest with all four of them. Don't deny me my love. So you don't just deny me my love. Is that what you're thinking? I don't know. No, I'm thinking it's either Link or Zelda that you're playing as. Oh. But you're going on a journey with them. Because like, you know, the, each of the four dungeons in the regular game is based on one of them. Mm-hmm. So it's like you're still like you're going to the four regions that they are are in with them to do some kind of mission for each one or something like that. There's these amiibos are look okay. Uh, I don't, I only really like the Goron one. The other ones are kind of. I think they, they, if you compare them to day one or day wave one or wave two amiibos, these are infinitely better. Well, yeah, they've been improving drastically each time. But I just don't like the oh, stance oh, on the one on the right. Card. That's all. Ubersa. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little weird, but I definitely want Mifa. Mifa, maybe Rivali because he looks all um, smug, but definitely want uh, Mifa and Rivali. Yeah, Rivali has a weird like male Goro, and stance. The Goron looks pretty cool. Yeah, he looks so happy to be there. Like, hey, <laughs> how you doing, guys? Gorons are my favorite Zelda race, and I've wanted like mm-hmm. some kind of like I, I really want the um, the Majora's Mask Link. I mean, wait, I think I have it. I don't remember. I Is it out? I want the Skyward Sword Link. If the, if the Majora's Mask Link is out, I have it. If it's not, I want it. I don't remember which. I don't, <laughs> no, they're not out yet. They come uh, out, I think, this week, actually. Okay, well, yeah, I want it then. Um, but, like, I think he's holding the Gorin Mask in that one, and it's, like, the closest I'll get to a Gorin Amiibo. So I was surprised to see these. Yeah, they announced some pretty good Amiibos. We'll eight players the Metroid's still my favorite. I'm saying it now because it's not part of this conference. But the the squishy Metroid amiibo is so cool. Yeah, I didn't even know that was a thing until like I watched a, a Nintendo Wire as uh, a website I go to for all my Nintendo news. Um, they they were doing a tour of the amiibos and I saw the Metroid and uh, amiibo and I was like, that's not even amiibo, that's a figurine. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, the Samus one is awesome, but I have a Samus Amiibo. Amiibo. I don't have a Metroid Amiibo. Like, I thought they were just statues. I didn't know it was, like, a plushy kind Nintendo of thing. But now, no, like, they were showing... I was watching the, like, 45-minute gameplay trailer for uh, uh, Samus Returns. And, like, at the end of it, they show off the Amiibo, and she goes, and look, and just, like, squishes the top of the mm-hmm. Metroid. And I'm like, oh, oh. yeah. You <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd like that. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Oh, fantastic. Kind of handed to Nintendo. I feel like as far, I don't know, because I don't like declaring like winners of E3, but from a marketing standpoint, because, you know, that's the field I'm in, Nintendo definitely took home the cake on this one. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. They they knew what they were doing, and they just executed it so damn well. So I got to hand it to them for sure. Yeah. Well, it's like I had said before, like, the fact that Nintendo was a part of almost every other conference at E3 mm-hmm. just shows how like how wide their breadth is this year. Right, like, they're right. killing it in every department. Yeah, Would you say their breadth was opened their show with a Nintendo game? Don't That's do it. That's unprecedented. Don't Would you do say it, their breadth was no. wild? No. Oh. I, I, I was. I thought you were going to say breathtaking. No, I was going. I was making a stupid Breath of the Wild point. Every- By the way, this. <laughs> This was the first time I've seen, because I didn't watch the Ubisoft conference, much to my dismay, of seeing mm. Mario Rabbids. I oh, hate yeah. the Rabbids, but goddamn, this game looks fun. It looks the game really looks good. phenomenal. Like, you you haven't like, seen I, it since you were being so negative on it. I know, but like I saw it for this, and I'm just like, God damn it! Don't I probably won't buy it because so much other they stuff. They made is coming an out XCOM the game with Rabbids and Mario. Yeah. Like, what yeah. else do you need? No There's so much depth to it. Yeah, like, the, the only thing on this trailer, but they had uh, like like Yeti. Or like like Donkey Kong Rabbit, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and he looks so cool. Eve Gilmore. Yeah, the only thing that'll keep me from buying it is that the fact that so much other stuff's coming out. Like I'll buy it eventually because I'm pretty sure 
it's uh, it's one of those games that hopefully random generates maps and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, or it's on sale or something. But uh, yeah, that's the only. But like, I gotta admit, like, I'm not a rabbit fan. I hate the rabbits. They're worse. They're awful. I would, I would rather it be like Rayman and Mario and like an XCOM esque game because that would have been hilarious. Where but, is Rayman, anyways? Uh, nowhere because Ubisoft wants to ignore him. Um, because those Rayman but, games didn't sell well. Yeah, exactly. Oh. But uh, but they were fun games. It, it looks surprisingly good. Like yeah. I, I hate to. It looks surprisingly fun. I just that, hope that's that that the main takeaway from it. Like before heading in, like I was depressed about this rabbit stuff, but now I'm coming <laughs> coming over to the rabbit side. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I just hope that they uh, borrowed like all the good parts of XCOM and not like the permadeath aspect. Or how was the Mario can't be permadeath? Come on, it's not gonna be permadeath. There's eight <laughs> or, characters in the or, entire game. Or the fact that how, like, how hey, awful would that be though? How awful would that be? Sorry, Mario dies. You can't complete this mission. <laughs> sorry, or, Princess Peach is dead. There's no reason to play this game. Or or the fact that like if you're standing right next to a rabbit and your percent your percentage of shooting him is ninety eight percent and you miss. Yeah, mm. that's why I don't mm-hmm. play um, uh, Skyrim. I mean, the Skyrim XCOM games because, mm-hmm. like, the RG. I feel like the RGN is cheap just be- just because, and there's no reason for the it. The way I play those yeah. games is I save scum. So before every single action, I save <laughs> and then I reload. No. That's the only way I can play those games, and then I have more fun that way. Nice. All right, we're here at the big ticket, the best thing that was. Yeah. Here. So real quick, I want to say about Rocket League. Those dudes did not look very happy to be presenting their game on the Switch. They're just yeah, like, what the heck? yeah, people wanted it, so we're going to do it. Come See, on, I didn't man. think that, that at all. Awesome. I thought they were being very mellow. I thought I didn't they were think just that at all. being themselves. They were just there. Maybe, Maybe that's not how they are, but it looked weird to me. But yeah, this this trailer started, and it had freaking a dinosaur, and I thought it was like that new uh, Monster Hunter. And <laughs> I was like, yeah. they're, they're putting mm-hmm. the Monster Hunter game on the Switch, too? And then it showed the cap, and I'm like, what even is this game? Can I highlight the vocals from? By the way, it is it's confirmed. It is Pauline, and she is the mayor of New yeah, Donk yeah, City. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, like the, like the musical vocal and like this. Oh, yeah. this captures the spirit of Mario sixty four, but for new, but for but for current times. Mm-hmm. Like it just, I want to be engrossed in this and find every nook yeah. and cranny. Can and I just say that uh, just it's kind of disturbing? You can do. That Mario is possessing people. Yeah, like the re- like the actual people. That was a little weird, <laughs> but still, it, it's it's a cool like mechanic though. You can't. Deny You're collecting that. moons. That's so cool. Yeah, for like I'm just so used to him collecting stars. Now it's like, oh, oh yeah, nice. he has the shines, which are which are suns and mm-hmm. sunshine, and then he had stars in other games, and now he has moons. It's like they've done, they've gone full circle. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. This game looks fantastic. You can it looks be- yeah. phenomenal. I just love the fact that you can pos- it looks like you can possess almost anything. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. You can possess a pole uh, and use it to flick yourself <laughs> higher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the yeah. uh the the cap cappy works through the Joy-Con motion controls. You're taking over oh, that's really? not amazing. But it's fine. Can you I'm hoping you can play this on the Pro Controller. That would be like cuz the Pro Controller has the Pro Controller has motion controls built into it. Yeah, I mean, you can probably still like click it in whatever direction. <laughs> they said like, you know, you hold the Joy-Con and you just kind of going along and you just simply click it in a direction and the hat goes out. Cuz he has different ways of throwing the hat too. You can like roll it and like spin it around. You can like, yeah. do, do a couple of different things. So. But they aren't kidding. It's an odyssey. Like what a, and like the fact that we got an actual confirmed release date for October. I was expecting like late November like around Thanksgiving, but no. Yeah, same. Yeah, we we get October, which is just they must have been like full steam ahead on this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I love and and this is on the gameplay like sort of tr- demonstration, which you'll probably see later as you're watching this stream. Uh, but the uh, little bits of where Mario goes into the wall and he turns into eight bit oh, Mario. Yes, the two D bits. Yes, that was fantastic. Yeah, it reminded me of Sunshine when like you go into those areas and like you don't have the the jetpack anymore. You're just doing traditional Mario levels. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Another thing that I really like is that so, you know, it was just the, one of the, uh, that the things up, that he possesses but, uh, we also have mustaches. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's like a frog with a mustache, and then there's like a, a taxi cab with a mustache. The T Rex had a mustache, if you paid yeah. attention. It's pretty great. <laughs> and there's just so much style in the way they're like kind of making this like real world Mario side. 
like the walk signs uh, are question blocks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here we've got, uh, so like you can tell Nintendo put a lot. There's a laptop yeah. in New Donk City. Really yeah, <laughs> Nintendo put a, has put a lot of effort into this, and like, it, like after, I, like I love 3D World, you know, for what it was, but this is what I wanted, like some, <laughs> something like this, like this is infinitely, like I would, like this is like I know Galaxy 3 was like every, what everybody kind of wanted, but like, <laughs> no, this is fine. This I'll take this, yeah, exactly. Like this is. I want Galaxy 3, but this is fine. This I'll take this exactly because again, this this feels like Mario 64 for a new generation. That's what it looks like. Yeah, like you go into. It looks like you're gonna go into these worlds, like New Dark City, and there's a couple other ones that are shown through that uh, trailer. And then you go into these jet, these uh, rocket ships into levels, and that's where like, the more classic Mario platforms yeah. begins. But I think each one of them is like an open world hub. It just like leads you to yeah. the smaller areas. I can't wait to show some Mario. Like, it's like a hundred of each thing in each world. <laughs> like in this world, it's just coins, and later it shows like the kind of like Day of the Dead world. Mm -hmm. I'm, like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, like Justin. Triangles. I'm gonna ask you to pronounce it right, and it's Dia de los Muertos. Thank you. Nope. It's Dia de los Muertos. It's not even that hard for you to say. <laughs> I'm not going to use your language. It's not my language to use. I like that they have uh, <laughs> currency in this world. Like, you can actually buy yeah, stuff. Yeah, you actually spend the money. <laughs> How long is that taken? It's purple triangles. <laughs> no, you spend the money. The, the triangles are the collectibles. Oh, okay, because I was you looking at your coin trailer and they don't. The, the, the they triangles were, were, are from uh, a different world. It's from oh, the Mexican okay. world. <laughs> but they're collectibles, is the point. Like, there's a hundred of each thing in each world. Well, no, they use it to buy. They, they use it to buy outfits for Mario, though. So yeah, <laughs> that's the coins I thought. No, they were when I saw in the in the Dia de los Muertos world, they were Mario was using that triangle purple corn, corn, corn thing, whatever, to uh, not the coins, but just purple this triangle thing to buy outfits, and he bought the poncho and the sombrero. Yeah, the, the purple currency you can collect. A, it says zero out of a hundred when you get it. Those are the purple so coins. That's not the same thing I'm talking about. No, no, it's, 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 it's the same thing. So, like, each world has its own purple currency. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Oh, okay. And then when you collect it, it says blank whatever out of 100. But then you can yeah. buy stuff with that currency, which is pretty cool. See, same symbol up there, just different thing in its place. Oh, okay, okay. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. I love the Dia de los Muertos world. It looks so fun. It looks really cool. So, I guess cool. you can collect 100 of the coins and then, like, spend them all. Like, that's, like... All the uh, all the things you can buy, probably yeah. Yes, yeah, they're good only in this kingdom. Okay. Those coins, yeah, only good in this kingdom. Okay, I misunderstood then. I thought they were saying that like those are collectibles. Like you get a hundred of them and then you get like a moon or something. See, but the coins seen, are used to buy things. Yeah, we've seen 3D platformers. But then, like, and then now we've seen Mario Odyssey. And it's like this is proof, like Mario's king in 2D and 3D. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> king. Oh yeah. No doubt. <laughs> like Zelda just reinvented open world games, and Mario is re reinventing the platforming genre. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. This game is like it's not what I expected at all. Like the way the hat works and everything. It's so surprising and just how much yeah. style it is like how like how different each world is and the the yeah. colors the colors man <laughs> the colors duke the colors and I've you seen... can possess a dinosaur game of the year so there's two i've seen uh, a couple of pictures where like mario's dressed as his different uh, occupations he's had throughout the years Oh, nice. So like the mariachi dip band the, the one, and then there was another the one that was like said, Mario Gall or just the golf referee player. from Fight from um, Punch Out. Yeah, <laughs> nice. So I just cool. hope you don't like have to unlock the different things you can change into. You know what I mean? Like I hope you can just like like touch anything and become it. Yeah. In every oh, world, exactly. they just use that in different ways. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I'm sure. And from what they are, from what I heard um, from watching earlier, it sounded like um, not necessarily every single enemy is possessable. So you kind of have to like experiment a little bit yeah. as far as that goes. So, but yeah, it's just as far as like Nintendo goes, like one thing I I'll, I gotta commend them for is that they they innovate, but they don't forget their roots at either. You know what I mean? Right. So. Similar, similar to Breath of the Wild, how like that reinvented yeah. Zelda, but still very much felt like a Zelda game at the end mm -hmm. of the day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm curious to see how many the conflict, the, the con inner conflict for Nintendo fans 
as of which game was game of the year, Mario <laughs> Odyssey or Breath of the Wild? Because honestly, That's to me, they're both. I mean, I haven't played Mario Odyssey. Both this year. That's crazy. <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> That's insane. Like, for, so the, for, for the first the time, Zelda and ending it with Mario. That's great. I don't know why. Yeah. yeah. For, the, for the first time in a long time, I'm gonna have a tough choice of picking game of the year because like last couple of years, you know, I had a Wii U, didn't have a PS4. Like, yeah. oh yeah, here's my game of the year because you're the only thing I played this year. But like, <laughs> like now it's like, oh man, oh man. Everyone's gonna have a hard time. Exactly. Like last year, like not really anything Nintendo even got on like top fives or tens. For most lists, but now it's going to be like just an argument between Zelda and Mario is, is number so one. That, well, using the like probably for everyone. <laughs> probably, yeah. Like it, if this shows any indication, Mario Odyssey is gonna the, gonna match the uh, the only, Breath of the Wild, and I would think Breath of, um, Mario Odyssey has a lot more mass appeal than Zelda, arguably. So you're gonna have more people. God, it's gonna be impossible to. You better buy your Switches now, people, because it's gonna be impossible <laughs> to find them uh, this oh, come yeah. holiday season for with Mario Odyssey. I'm oh, certain yeah. there's already been yeah, some sold uh, after seeing this. Here, so you're yeah. Not yeah. Those yeah, you missed your chance, Thomas. That's true. Um, probably one. Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I was talking to, to Justin about this before the conference, but having watched the conference and watched some of the treehouse stuff, it's made me really glad I bought a Switch at launch. Mm-hmm. Like knowing this is what's coming as a fir- as an early adopter. That like, yeah, the first couple months have been great, but now we got Arms coming out next month. We got Splatoon two coming out. Um, or Arms coming out this Friday. Yeah. Um, Splatoon two comes out next month. Then we have nothing in then nothing in August. At least for core Nintendo, but Sonic Mania comes out in August. Uh, Mario and Rabbids is August. No, Mario and Rabbids is September. I thought it was no, September. Mario and Rabbids is August. Okay, Mario and Rabbids is in August. August. <laughs> then you have in September. Then you have in September. It's not a Switch game, but you have Metroid because I have to mention Return of Samus or yeah, Samus Returns. Um, then in October. Uh, and then high ro- theoretically, uh, Fire Emblem Warriors is going to come out either September, October, or late August. I can see that being September. Yeah. Um, and as then as you Switch have releases every month. I can see Fire Emblem pretty much. Yeah. And then in October you have Mario Odyssey. So, um, and then you just, just end to it interrupt you for a quick second, we're at the the two D section now for the Mario Odyssey stuff. I love how he keeps his like outfit when he goes into the. Yeah. Into the oh, yeah. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> so cool. That took some work too to get all those outfits in 2D. Oh yeah, and it's so seamless when he hops out of the 2D into 3D. It's crazy. Um, yeah, I mean it's a tunnel, so it makes sense. You know, it's not like he's just hopping into 2D and suddenly it's 2D. No, when he gets out though, he just hops out of. Well, he jumps up the top. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. That's crazy. Good job, guys. Good job. Yeah, the 2D, the <laughs> so slick. Kind of Everything they've got in development now, it's just like it's so smoothly developed. Mm-hmm. Like there's no hiccups. It's not like that Assassin's Creed reveal where it's like, this probably like is fun, but it looks rough. And- but also within the yeah, Nintendo takes the thing about Nintendo is that like they don't they don't show things unless, for the most part, they're confident enough to show it. Right. Yeah. I wonder if the physics are like course, you know, original yeah, Mario. They have a really strong showing. Nintendo won E3. Like I don't think there's any question about that. I know. See, I don't. Like, I don't like to say that. Who won? Yeah, I don't like to say. I think we, we all we all won E3. Like legitimately, like we all won. Like I think. Yeah, we did. Really, like the gamers yeah. won E3. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I only say that because, of, like I said, Nintendo was mentioned uh, at almost every conference. The only one right. they weren't was Bethesda, and no, they were actually because uh, they were Bethesda. They were Sky, Skyrim. Skyrim. Yeah, yeah, they there's, were there's a few at, things from every yeah, single press conference that are in there. Sony. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna skip ahead I think Sony was the only one they weren't uh, mentioned at. Show off of the last part of this Maybe EA, I don't remember. Uh, okay. Well, FIFA with EA. and That's true. So yeah, mm-hmm. everyone was Sony. Yeah. They were mentioned. So that's why I say they won. Because like they were literally the biggest part of the conference. That's like a, that's an influence of them like opening up their their brand now, I guess. Which is great. Yeah, exactly. That's fantastic. <clears throat> yeah, that's what they needed. That's what they've been holding them back for the last few years. Yep. Yeah. The young blood has made all the difference. So now they can take like, over said, uh, everything. To go back to that, it's not being made by Retro this time. It's being made by uh, like a new studio. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that means I can't break into the Retro Studios offices in Austin and find out how the development of Metroid Prime 4. Yeah, I also don't know what they're working on instead. You can find that out for us. You can break in and look in the documents and see what they're actually working on. Yeah, speaking of which, they did didn't, this didn't happen on the conference, but it happened on reveal. The fact, like similar to Retur- Samus Returns, but they're remaking Superstar Saga for the 3DS, which I think is really, really yeah, cool. that's kind of weird. Hmm. 
That's okay, because we get to Like, and I'm looking at it right now, like, because I, I came into the Mario and Luigi series late. Like, I started with um, the the Dream Team one, and that was super fun. Like, I love that game. Uh, uh, even the, the, sorry, even uh, the enemies pop out of 2D and suddenly go after you in 3D. That's yeah. Awesome. Sorry, continue. Yeah, no, it's cool. Yeah, control them to, like, <laughs> maneuver well, around. Uh, Mm-hmm. Like I am just saying like so it, uh, it's, it's like a, as a person who holds primarily Nintendo consoles it's kind of like I like it's it's, it's going to be a great year and my wallet rip my wallet <laughs> <laughs> yeah but that's all you can do yeah and... but yeah so uh um, right, anyway, so retro project so made by a new studio headed up and, by uh folks may have seen them in our original, I want to uh, say uh, the uh, actual like the uh, original creator of Metro um but it's like it's a totally new like in-house like young developers everything that's what they've been doing a lot more like arms new like young developers splatoon was created like uh i guess someone wanted to make it a mario game and they were like no let's do something totally new and like this this team came up with that idea of like what to do instead and it's like all the, all their best like new ideas have been from like young startup people in the company. I just want to make a quick mention that the the primary evil force in this game is a wedding planning company. It's Waluigi. It's Waluigi. That's that's that's, that's, that's there's a lot of purple everywhere. If you notice in the if you notice there's, there's, there's a lot of money. please let it be Waluigi. That'd purple be is the color of royalty, so that's probably bad. But I really want to do Waluigi. That would be amazing. And Waluigi. No, even if he's not behind. But the fact that Waluigi would be behind Bowser's wedding and uh, that would be so hilarious. Is, uh, yeah. <laughs> like actually a wedding planner, Waluigi. And I think the group is called Brutal. Yeah. So, like like bridal team, but like brood. Yeah. But also you know brutal. Like, it's got so many so many meanings. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a bunch of bunnies. So awesome. so Evil bunnies. We haven't had that since Hoodwinked. <laughs> Right. Uh, I think I'll move off of this and into the, uh, the Metro stuff now. Yes. Uh, Metro looks so good. Yeah, did you? I didn't, because, like, I, um, I had a co-worker spoil for me two Metroids, and I went, ah, ah, ah! Uh, and I'm going to pretend you didn't say that. I'm going to pretend, and I didn't, well, I was going to watch the E3, because he. I was on my way to my lunch. Um, and I am I didn't watch it, because I was like, okay, I want to forget I heard that. And I watched the conference, and of course, Metro Prime 4, but I was like, where was, where was, where was the other one? Yeah, and then I clicked. I, I clicked the YouTube. Like, oh, there it yeah, is. Yeah, the conference. Like that was that was me too. It's like I watched the conference because uh, I actually had Brooke find it for me, so I wouldn't be spoiled on anything else before I saw it. And uh, so she she pulled up the you know the conference for me. We played that, and then I closed out of that and like was going to go to see the the treehouse coverage. And on my way there, I saw like Metroid Pro or Metroid Samus Returns E three trailer, and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> So yeah, they just, like quick. stealth announced the like the new me- uh, 2D Metro. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean they they announced beforehand that there were going to be announcements at the Treehouse, but I didn't expect that. Yeah, they're basically just holding all their 3DS announcements at the Treehouse, which I understand. They want to focus on the Switch, but mm-hmm. this is bigger news than most of the Switch mm-hmm. stuff, and I don't even like the 3DS anymore. <laughs> I'm surprised. Oh, that that, looks so good. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't. This isn't mm-hmm. Switch. To be honest with you, because I thought, you yeah. know, if any would, but who knows? Maybe it will down the line. I don't know. What this game? Doom has been developed mm-hmm. in development for a little while. Mm-hmm. I yeah, just love how energetic it is. Not to port it yeah. over to the Switch. Right. right. I'll, I'll play it on my 3DS. Like to me, like I'm so, like I, I would love to. I don't care. I'll play it on my 3DS. I would love to look up, turn on my shelf right now, and see. That's the one game I have. Pretty <laughs> much every game from every fr- Nintendo franchise on 3DS. The one that's been missing is Metroid, and now I have one, and I'll take it. Yeah, so exactly. It's, uh, it's fantastic. I don't know, I'm loving how I have Metroid, Metroid two on the like, 3DS, sorry, like gonna, the virtual I console. Have to do this. Yeah. It's not the same. It's not a box. <laughs> no, it's not the same. And I like I can't get very far in it because it's so hard. But I've tried. So I'm so excited for this because I love that game. Like structurally, it's so good, and like the items in it are amazing. Like it was the introduction to the Spider Ball, which is one of my favorite Metroid items. But it's just it's such a hard game. I can't really get past like the Spider Ball like Ice Beam area because uh, there's no map, and the areas all kind of blend together. So it's hard to tell where, you're, where to go next after a while. Do you know the timestamp when she squishes the Metroid? Uh, it's at the very end. Uh, I was trying to find it. I want to see it. 
Like, do we know when those amiibos are coming out? Uh, with the game, I assume. Oh man, I have to pre-order that. I have to, I already pre-ordered the game. Like, like I, I I know people say don't pre-order. I don't. I, I pre-order out of convenience so I don't forget to get it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, so I, I don't care. Up. Yeah. Plus, Amazon Prime twenty percent off games. Yeah, uh, exactly. I'm actually going to I'm going to pre-order two copies of that and uh, Mario and Rabbids. Uh, I, the only thing I didn't get this year, and I'm fine with it, was Golden Sun 4, but I'm okay with that because I got two Metroid games. I'm like, okay with it. <laughs> oh, there's a special edition of Metroid. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Whoa. I didn't, okay, Amazon. It's just a CD and a, and a flip. Uh, a I don't flip care. Card. I want it. I want it, Zero. I don't care. <laughs> he wants the CD. <laughs> I want the CD. I pre-ordered the special edition for Son- of Sonic Mania uh, for the Switch. So you're probably not getting a PS4 then, huh? I mean, I mean, probably. I mean, I still want a PS4 after seeing some of the stuff from last night for like Sony. But like, my my my, it's been pushed back after watching Nintendo. Yeah. Considering Marvel's Capcom, it's going to come on PC. I have a PC. (laughs) They're squishing the Metroid. It's weird. It's so cool though. It's how I imagine it would be. You know, right. before it like death and all that. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you're not going to get close enough to squish it. But if you could, <laughs> it would be squishy. All right, let's, squishy let's look at this gameplay and stuff. Uh, is, is 3DS not eligible for the discount? Probably not Probably not yet. They probably mm-hmm. haven't, like, updated it or something. Because well, for are. Mario and Rabbids, it shows, like, prime savings. Your price to check out is forty seven ninety nine. And I'm not finding anything on the special edition either. Uh, that's weird. Oh well, I'll get. I don't care. I'll get it anyways. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, I don't, I'm getting I... giving two copies. Like that, that adds up. Right. That, that's your problem, not mine. I would rather have it at that discount. Point, True, but whatever. That's that's beside the point. This game looks so good. Like not only are they just remaking the game, which they needed to do because it was it was so ahead of its time. Like as far as the things you could do in it, like the way it played and everything, it needed to be updated. That's why I was so upset about the fan remake getting canceled. But now, now we know it. why it was canceled. Like, they were already making one, and it looks better. Honestly, like just objectively, this looks better. I like uh, that the amount kept of work the they're old, putting uh, in Metroid uh, logo for it too. Yeah, that's really nice. But like the amount, the agility, and like the new abilities and stuff like that, that melee yeah, that is so I cool. Like, it feels like they're taking yeah. the good yeah. things of other M yeah. with her, and like the the again like the agility aspect of it, mm-hmm. but get putting it in a two point five D Metro game, which is like yeah, that the it, I didn't think it could work because I was skeptical about that, but it it looks it looks great. Yeah, and she like swoops around and smacks down that Gamma Metroid. Yeah, Ugh. so much awesome. <laughs> I knew you'd like that. I don't like about Metroid 2 is it doesn't really have like yeah, boss creatures that. in the same way because it just has all the different types of Metroids that you know so ramp up. But the they're basically regular enemies because you find each one as you go. You can't see it at home so it's like it's at first you're just going through and getting you know multiple like yeah, it's uh, cheesy, but it Alpha Metroids is that the first one? And yeah. then, like, you're finding multiple beta Metroids, and then multiple Gamma Metroids, and then, like, the final boss, I think, is no Mega Metroid. No, I'm, um, st- I'm stupid, because I thought this was uh, a, a remake of uh, the first game. This is a remake of the second game. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Where, you, yeah. where basically Samus commits genocide on the Metroid race. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Zero Mission was already made. That was a, that was a fine remake. Okay. I, don't do I don't know why I thought this was the first one. That's weird. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah. But yeah, so there's not, like, those big, like, you know, huge screen... Uh, bo- like bosses or anything in this game, mm-hmm. but it's still fine because the way it plays is. I just hope crazy. like because one thing I don't like I don't like about Metroid Two is how linear it was in comparison. It made sense for the Game Boy, but mm-hmm. I really hope with this one they go with the Super Metroid feeling in that they open things up more because mm-hmm. Super Metroid's not even really that open. It just it doesn't tell you where to go and that things get opened up as you discover things. That's what I hope that they take. They take that formula and put it a little bit, put that into into this remake of Metroid Two. It looks more yeah. open. Exactly, like, that has to funnel you because like there's those areas you can't go through until you you know beat all the Metroids in the area. But it looks like you kind of have to figure out where they all are. Exactly. Is that melee me counter explore. new to this uh, game? Yeah, yeah. entirely new. I like the free aim too. The free aim is, mm-hmm. it looks really good. It's I don't like that you can't move while you're doing it. Yeah, yeah, not a fan of yeah. that, but 
because before you would toggle like the L and R, you know, to be like like forty five degree up or forty five degree down while you're running. Mm-hmm. Now it looks like it's just the one button to do free aim. And real talk, that this is the reason why I wanted a Metro game on the 3DS. It's so stupid, but the fact that I can use see the second screen's a map, like that's yeah. so mm-hmm. like that, map. that that that's so <laughs> nice. like that's so good. That's so. Good. That's why I wanted a Metroid game on the uh, on the on the Wii U because it's like you yeah. can, like it's like Sam is looking at her actual map on her hand. Like I can just look down and that's where it's at. But mm-hmm. I'll take this. And it's a uh, quick tap for changing uh, beams. Oh, that's so awesome! Goes, like, the, the regular beam oh, on there, yeah. and you get the ice beam, and you can quick tap yeah, that. Yeah. And you get the grapple beam, you can quick tap that. Uh, I think you can always put three on there at a time. It shows later, like you've got the like the plasma beam, the wave beam, and I think it's still the grapple at the bottom. Um, but you can like you can actually have those quick changes between them, so you don't have to go into the menu and change up your buttons. Mm-hmm. I wonder if they can stack like in super. I want. I wonder. If I assume they do. Stack. Like you probably don't have to have like. I, I would assume the regular like the top beam there changes into plasma. Um, whenever you get that, and then uh, like whenever you get the wave beam, it like changes that top one into like a three beam plasma, that kind of thing. Um, but the second one is always ice, and then the last one's always gravel, probably. One thing I'm wondering about is um, just performance level. Like, is it going to run fine on a regular 3DS? Because uh, we've had games from them in the past where things didn't run that great on the regular one, but yeah, on the new one, it run, ran better. I mean, that's mm-hmm. mostly been the high. Like, that was Hyrule Warriors, and that was Pokemon. But I feel like there's not really a lot going on screen. And even then, yeah. I feel like if you have any frame rate, anytime the 3DS has had real frame rate issues, it's a lot of things on screen or the 3D was on. We can't mm-hmm. tell what the 3D is on because, again, we're looking at it through a 2D screen. But I think considering it's not, I don't think it's going to be that graphic intensive on the 3DS. I think it'll run, I think it'll run just as fine as, like, say, on a, on a 2DS or or, uh, or a 3DS. But I, I think it'll run just fine. I don't think you're going to have frame rate issues yeah. unless you have, like, a lot of enemies on one screen. It's just a question to have. Yeah, no, I get you. Yeah. All right. Um... Yeah, like, the the game is a lot of style, and I really like the style of it, but it's not terribly pretty. You know, like, I don't see it, like, really taxing the system. In yeah, that you way. can see the jaggies and everything. It's a 3DS. Yeah, it's not, it's but not I want to see the trailer in 3D. Like, you can watch it on the 3DS, like, in its full glory, and I want to see if it looks better there, because games never look as good, like, on YouTube or whatever as they do on the 3DS itself, because they're not True. built to be watched in 2D. Mm-hmm. So I assume it probably looks better in action. Mm-hmm. But, I don't know. I, I want this engine to be used in a, in a like a, not a real game, but a, like a sequel that's actually like a new Metroid game, like totally new, mm-hmm. like Metroid Dread or something. Because they built this foundation already at the very end of the 3DS life. Like, why do that? You're yeah. not going to use it again. That seems silly. So I'm hoping it means it's, it's more to come. Samus can confirm uh, grab ledges like she did in Fusion Zero and, and yeah. uh, Zero Mission, so that's cool. Yeah, she's got all the agility without having to, like, unlock it as you go. I never understood that. Like, Samus unlocked the ability to use her hands. <laughs> <laughs> she's not a moron anymore. <laughs> and there's these new abilities that you get. There's four of them throughout the game. And they use, uh, like, a basically a magic meter. Um, so you get, like, uh, you get, like, refills of it, just, like, health. And it fills up this bar, and when it, like uh, each time you use these abilities, it uses that bar. Um, this one, I assume, was like the like the scan visor where you can see, or like the X-ray visor. I mean, where you can see secrets and stuff. Hmm. Uh, there's another one that's like a shield, so it makes your uh, your your melee attacks more powerful, like when people hit you, and uh, lets you run through enemies. There's another one that's just like a really strong gun. It's like kind of a like a machine gun, and they didn't show the fourth one. But there's a lot of cool in these like new abilities that you get, and I assume there's other new stuff too. Like, obviously, they showed you get the grapple beam, which you can get in the original game. Um, I don't know what else new you might get. But... Yeah, there they show that kind of showing, like highlighting a secret for you. So that's cool. It must mean that the game's a little more open because there's secrets. <laughs> so is that it for uh, Metroid? I guess. I want to keep talking about it, but I'm asking you, man. It's not out for three months. I don't know. The hype is real. No, I mean, like that's really all there is to say. But I just I want to keep talking about it because it's actually a new Metroid game. 
Yeah, I'm just really happy. That for seven too. years, I'm so pinned yeah. up. <laughs> so, uh, but but I will say that we're st- uh, it's been six years that we wanted to play with. So, six years and counting now since Golden Sun Dark Dawn. No Golden Sun for me this year. I I gotta wait another year. <laughs> you gotta hide that. It could be at a direct or something. That doesn't have to be eating three months. Like, yeah, that's true. It doesn't mean what it used to. Sure, mm-hmm. people hold on to some big announcements, but like, look at you know. Like, it would have been nice. It would have been nice. Is all I'm saying. There was no Final Fantasy VII news here, except mm-hmm. saying that you know. Well, that because that game's not coming out to 2086. <laughs> well, it's, it's not real. Remember? Um, yeah, but it's just a dream. There was, there was no like uh, Kingdom Hearts three at the actual conference. So it was a trailer beforehand, mm-hmm. but it wasn't shown. You know there. Uh, there was no Death Stranding. There, was, there wasn't there a lot of stuff that is, uh, you'd think would be in E3, but they're holding it for their own conferences. And, uh, yeah. So Thomas just pointed the stream to Rabbids, and there's just a Guma just riding on a, on, on, a, on, a, on a rising water, and he's just like having the time. He's so he's like, Look at him. Yeah. Oh, it's a nice oh, little oh, bidet. Day. I don't think I've ever seen a Goomba smile before. Holy crap, this is hilarious. It's like a water park. <laughs> For your butthole. He's just like, um, yeah. He's just like, yeah. That's all he is. Oh my god, thank you, Thomas, for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now they're. Oh my god, now they're interacting with him. On the, his backside is completely clean now. Wow, way to go. <laughs> I just wanted yeah. that to be. Mushroom Kingdom Bidet. Wow. Real talk, America should have bidets. Like, real talk, that should be a thing. Why is they that not popular? I know, right? It's not popular. Yeah. They should be popular. Wash your butt, people. Wash your butt. <laughs> you can do it in the shower. Right. It's not the same because water's coming down. It's weird. Why are we talking about bathroom, bathroom he's methods? Gonna, he's just going to raise your butt. You brought it up. I yeah. know, but Justin made it weird. He's got to bend over a little bit and reach in there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just don't drop the stuff. Oh, I missed you guys. <laughs> Darkly, your characters, you can yeah, the point is, Rabbis uh, looks great, and no one yeah. expected that. Not at all. No one Literally, no one expected that. I think that. maybe this they expected that. Like, this is the, the butt of every joke for every podcast so when it, like, and news you, site when this was first was leaked. You know, and now it's, like, the most talked about, well, one of the most talked about games from the so, whole event. Yeah. I, re- I remember, um, because I listened to Jim, Jim Sterling's podcast, Podquisition, and uh, one of his co-hosts, uh, Laura Kate Dale, I believe her name is, uh, she reported on this. And when I first heard it, I'm like, I like her and all. But I was like, "You're full of shit. No way, this is real. No way." And then, then we got the the paper, not the papers, but the the the, the images leaked. I was like, "Okay, this looks dumb." But now seeing it, it's just like, "Oh my god, this 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 is this is ridiculous." I'm I'll probably like again if if it ever goes on sale for like. Is is it going to be a sixty dollar game? I'm assuming it's a sixty dollar game. I'm assuming it will be. Yeah. So if it ever drops to like. Yeah, so if, it's, if it drops on to forty and I have and I have extra cash, I'll play it. But it's just there's so much other stuff coming out. That's the only reason right. why I yeah. won't play it. I'll play it because it's coming out in August. Yeah, like right. that's kind of the end of like the summer dry spell. Like there's there's going to be some indie stuff that I'm interested in before that, but there's not yeah. a lot. I'll be hard up for something by August. Yeah, well, I'll be I'll be preoccupied with Sonic Mania streams, so that's all. That's the only thing that I care about in August. See, I don't but care about Sonic. We so. need XCOM. In yeah. Mario, it looks good. There's like it does look mechanics. really good. You can like jump off each other and get a whole new like range. Yeah, like I think I remember. I think I remember them saying too is that you don't necessarily have to defeat all of the enemies in order to quote unquote win. Like, like they even they're... have like the like if like if you push yourself behind a wall like like the little shield thing that yeah, comes up for shield, X. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get partial coverage or full coverage. That's and that de- that determines whether or how likely the enemies are to hit you. This new XCOM DLC this year. I'd rather play this. Yeah. <laughs> Again, because XCOM is bullshit. That's the problem with XCOM games is that like you have to be a masochist to like those games. I guarantee this is not going to nearly have as much BS as an XCOM. Or you just save. Also, no permadeath. Yeah, but I don't want. I don't like if I have to save scum. I feel like then the game is just not fair and it's not fun at that point. Yeah. And the animations and everything are just so nice. Mm-hmm. Like they slide into cover and yeah, and like apparently there's ways to kind of avoid combat. Like you just see that tunnel off to the side. If you can get in range of that tunnel, you can like pop over there and go over to the side of the battle. 
So you can actually like kind of get up behind people and like sneak attack them. Yeah, you flank them. Um, yeah. Or like you can, I think you can actually literally go around this battle exactly. and not have so to do it. Here, uh, we just I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't heard anything uh, about that, but that'd be cool. Uh, the yeah, yeah and there's the idea that like if you need to get over, like instead of going through that pipe, you can like just hop off his back and go over the water. Mario's in a really bad position. I want to put him in. So it's just surprising how much depth there is in this game. And like, there's different weapons. Each uh, each enemy or each uh, player has like a different class. Like they said that Rabbit Luigi is kind of a like a wizard type, mm -hmm. um, and Mario is more of like a brawler. Um, I think Rabbit Peach is like the what I want to healer, I believe. I don't remember. What I want to know is, are we going to get like out? Because we already know the four main car Mario cast isn't it? Please give me playable Princess Daisy. Give me playable. <laughs> no, I think it's just those eight. Ah, uh, yeah. DLC then. Give me DLC. Give me DLC. For yeah, that can work. <laughs> With amiibo support, because I have a Princess Daisy amiibo. I don't want to spoil. Uh, what, what would be the dream DLC team? I picture like Daisy, Wario, Waluigi. And Rosalina. That works. I'm surprised mm. Rosalina's not mm. in the main cast. Like that's kind of surprising. Mm. It's still two girls and two guys, like two princesses, two brothers. It works. Right, yeah. yeah, and they haven't showed her off at all in uh, in the new Mario game either. Like she's kind of just taking a backseat. Yeah, well, she was in everything for a while. Yeah. So. She was the Galaxy one though. She's not gonna be in anything else. She's a really popular I, I would, character though. That's. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if other Mario characters have cameos in Odyssey though. That, that's I wouldn't like I mean, not gameplay. New Donk City, so Donkey Kong's around. Yeah. That'd be cool. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because like Paul, uh, what's her name? Paulina is there. Pauline. Pauline. Which I assume that's the new Donk City thing. Like that's like original Donkey Kong world. Yeah, so, like, from, from the game from the game from the game Donkey game, Kong yeah. after Mario right, that's left. What I mean. You know? That's why. That's why I assume. Like I, I, I think I had said on a podcast before that like I think that each world is based in like Mario lore because it was like a desert looking world that I thought was Mario two. New Donk City seems like the original Donkey Kong, and having Pauline as mayor is kind of proof of that. Um, I'm not sure what the the Mexican world is, but finally Mario returns home. Dia de los Muertos. Right. I like, as, as far as Mario. I'm not sure what that would be. Uh, he's Italian, so. <laughs> I mean, the ta Mexicans it, origin some are have, probably have some Italian history to them. I guarantee you. When you use that tactic and spot those pipes, you know, use that. I'm done with this. Uh, That's why. Stuff here. Was there any other new announcements uh, or anything else you guys? Want Nothing to major. Um, I think so. No, there's a lot of gameplay stuff of, of stuff that they announced for. Um, not that I know of. Other than like Superstar Saga, but like it's a re it's using the uh, the the recent 3D uh, Mario Luigi games on 3DS to remix Superstar Saga. Yeah, which makes sense. It's kind of lazy, but it makes sense. I get it. They have the engine already. Well, yeah, that's what they did for for Paper Jam. Like, and that was perfectly fine for that. I was perfectly fine with that. The Mario Luigi games are super fun. I know they're not you know what people originally wanted, but like with um, they want Mario RPG too, but like the Mario and Luigi games are are great. They're really really great. Yeah, I agree. I'm just saying like that just came out on GBA. Like it's not that old. It, I mean, but... it, it's it's kind of old, Justin. GBA, it it's kind of old. I was in high school when I got my GBA. So, but I mean, yeah. there's only been like oh, what is that five games in the whole series? Superstar Saga, Partners in Time. Bowser's Inside Story, um, four, five, yeah, five. Dream Team, yeah. Dream Team, Jam. and then yeah. Paper Jam, five. So, so to already really... go back and like remake the original, just, I don't know. I feel like people would have played them all still. Yeah, I don't know. I had no interest in those, that great. those RPG games, but uh, this one, I like it because of the tacticals. Tactical yeah. Stuff. I mean, it's fine that it's coming out. I'm not like complaining about it necessarily. I'm just saying it's kind of a weird choice. Uh, I think that's that'll do it for uh, E3 Nintendo. It's a round up. That's the wrap up, round up, whatever you want to call it. I uh, will be we'll be back on uh, well, uh, Patreon listeners can listen to our uh, the show that record on re that we record on Fridays and get our uh, opinions on like the whole show the whole week, mm -hmm. the whole shebang uh, on Sunday. So check that out. Uh, until then, guys, enjoy your games. Metroid yeah. lives.
Mexico yeah. lives. Yes. <laughs> the hype is real. 